Okay, then you're like, great, training phase. Do we use statistics now? Well, there is statistics and there is statistics. Statistics, statistical inference, the, the discipline is a heavily philosophical one about making decisions under uncertainty where we don't have do-overs and we really have to think carefully. Very rigid, I consider it very beautiful, um, philosophical pursuit. And we do care about what we think things mean over there. And then there's statistics. This part, this training part, is at best this one, where we're just going to kind of muck about with methods developed maybe for other purposes that you might see statisticians using, t-tests and whatnot, but we are at no point interested in that philosophical pursuit. We are just trying to get it to churn through our data and make something that does the job. So you can let go of all of your philosophical anxieties. Don't worry, those will come later in step nine. But here, you're just shoving your data through a bunch of stuff, throwing it at the wall and seeing if anything sticks. So it's very freeing, it's very fun. So let's train. And training is party time. Because all that anxiety should just melt away. It really doesn't matter if the assumptions are right. Try it anyway, because if they were wrong, you find out in the next step, you go back and you try again. No big deal. So you don't need to hold your breath at any point, just keep trying stuff and iterate until it works. It's, it's so fun and freeing. So this is a bunch of tinkering and dabbling. It's emotionally painful if you expect that other approach, where you expect you have to understand that everything is perfectly set up. But when you realize that you don't, you are all qualified to, if you're actually able to write the code that puts data into these things, you're able to do this. So you're gonna send your data through a bunch of stuff, you're gonna tinker, and you're gonna kind of work your way towards something that seems to be working. And when we say fit, that means perform well on an objective. And your algorithm behind the scenes is gonna be trying to perform well on the loss function, remember? You should also be checking how are we doing on the one we actually care about, our business performance metrics. So at every point, just put your answers you're looking for and the answers you got through your performance metric and see how you did there. 